keep this from happening to you. Hi, I'm Kevin with Bantam Tools. Broken end mills can happen to the best of us, but don't let it get you down. It's all a part of discovery, learning, and experimentation. I'm here with some simple practices to help keep your tool tips in shape. Cutting too deep is the most common cause of a broken tool. To avoid this, make sure to get exact measurements of your stock by using a set of digital calipers. Measure a few points around your stock and use the highest value. Sometimes the material will have an uneven thickness. And don't forget about the tape. Enter your tape's thickness into the Z-line under placement in the material section of the software. When using our regular double-sided tape, the value is three thousandths of an inch. And when using our high-strength double-sided tape, the value is eight thousandths of an inch. Also, this is really important. Only cut as deep as your end mills can reach. The maximum depth any of our end mills can plunge is equal to three times that end mill's diameter. So if you try to cut deeper than this, the tool will likely break. A second common cause of broken tools is loose stock. Dislodged stock can cause the end mill to dig in and break. Our basic double-sided tape is adequate for PCB milling and softer materials like plastic when using the default feeds and speeds. If you're milling metals or using a custom tool library, you'll need to use high-strength double-sided tape. And when mounting your project, ensure your stock has adequate tape coverage, especially under any sections that will be cut out. If you're using the alignment bracket or the precision fixturing system, make sure you leave enough space between your job and the bracket. You want to leave enough room for the tool to pass without colliding into the bracket. A good habit is to leave a width that is slightly more than the diameter of the tool. Here's another tip for those of you who are using uneven stock. Play it safe. You can always run a test pass above the surface of the stock. Simply adjust the Z height of your plan placement. This will cut any high spots first. After the test pass, you can then run your job at the originally planned height. And remember, if there's an error in your setup, you'll notice it right away, usually when you start milling or after you change your tool. So have a hand ready to hit the emergency stop button on your Bandon Tools desktop PCB milling machine. This stops milling immediately. Often your tool and workpiece will be salvageable if you hit the e-stop soon enough. Now that you know these smart, simple tips, you can mill with even more confidence. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit us on our website at bantamtools.com.